The lives of all have changed, but none as much as those living in long-term care facilities, such as nursing homes and assisted living. We all woke up one day and we learned that something called the pandemic would change our lives as we knew it. We were asked to travel only on our floor and visit in the hall only, our hall. We found this hard to do, or I did, because I love to talk. Who wants to listen to your conversation, the entire thing, unless it's the person you're going to? No one could be in the hall without a mask on was next. Another rule. Mm -hmm. Who am I? A person robbing a bank. These were uncomfortable, hot, made you look like a duck bill, and you couldn't breathe out of them. Now that's a real reason to wear one, isn't it? Truly, they were to protect others from any germs that we might have of COVID. Then to be told later that we should wear them all when someone came in the room and um, that was just too much. After all, haven't we gone through these rules long enough? No, it's just the beginning. Activities were marked canceled. Our activity department played bingo in our halls, which was some welcome change from TV. We residents um, sat in a doorway when we could. How many times can you watch Bonanza and uh, I forgot him, Andy Griffith, I'm sorry, without reruns? Besides, reruns get old quickly. They gave hot chocolate to us, popcorn, and other food items. There were other activities which had modified the use in the halls. We were at the mercy of this department, but they had to try. In the past, this facility took us for scenic rides around the community. But that changed when we were asked to stay home. We did changes again. Oh, we did. Changes again. We were told to stay in our rooms and go no further than the door. I'm a social person, so I really felt closed off, not only from these in, the, in this place. I could no longer visit with family or friends for a little while. We could have a visitor, but only one, outside under the canopy for 20 minutes. If the person was late and that for five minutes, for example, five minutes was deducted, that left us 15 minutes to visit. So suddenly no more visits. Stay inside the store, in your room. Stay inside, stay in your room. Food we had on a regular basis were not available. A dietary had to make changes because of all shortages. They always seem to have the vegetable that you hated the most, and mine just went off. Okay. I talked to staying in our rooms, but I failed to mention that we couldn't go shopping for ourselves anymore. Families or staff had to have to shop for us. There's something wrong here. No interactions with the shopping carts. They're lovely, aren't they? You think, you may think that this is, this is good, but I really miss those bumps from them by another shopper that was in a hurry. I say, I'm sorry my chair got in your way. I'll try to do better next time. I miss them. Over to have cataract surgery, but wasn't able to do so due to the dreaded pandemic. And I still have it. When, I don't know. If for some reason a resident had to venture out upon returning, they would face another quarantine for 14 days. When I was having problems medically and needed to see a doctor, just to a video doctor, what a treat. You talk to them on the phone, answer questions, then the rash, ear, or whatever is the problem, is viewed over the same phone and treatment is um, begun, diagnosis said, and the order's given. Very odd and not very good. No way to treat, but what could be done? The pandemic, you know. The staff has changed quite a bit. Anger is ever present. Attitudes have changed. More calls in. Age quit. Some that should have been let go still are here. Not good care. We're all affected by the pandemic. 
when the ADON quit suddenly, and a few days later the DON left with no warning. Something is definitely wrong. When was this all stop? There's not enough staff. I was not changed one day from two o'clock in the afternoon till 11 o'clock that night. The temporary staff don't always wear masks or gloves and I don't want them to touch me. We don't have a choice always. It's hard to hear that staff have COVID and that they take it home to their families. We're all tired physically, but also mentally. Be it residents or staff, we're all three tired. When will this all change? Lastly, let me tell you what happens if you are positive for COVID-19. You rush to the Red Hall, where it's sealed off the entry outside the building. They are taken out of the side door, around the other side, and enter the strange room where you have the same age and nurses at all times, unless they are off. Room you came from is packed up, stored in the dining room, with the exception of the essentials. The staff picks out the necessary things, not the necessities that you would think. With all the cleaning, bleaching, and what seems like nonstop use of hand sanitizer, the pandemic is taking over. Staff with COVID 16, residents with COVID. 36, <clears throat> residents in the yellow zone, which is the rest of us, 30, deaths, five. All this because the country was able to spread virus all over the world. A vaccine is here. Do we take it? Hoping that it will work? And if it does, what can happen to us years down the road? Life is different. It's so difficult, but in the end, if you think about it, it won't last forever. Pandemic, what are you? When will you stop tormenting us? Only God knows. Judith Mangum.